Guys, this is Ganesh, and just now I'm explaining about the goal stack planning and maybe the blocks word problem. Now I'm going to explain the non-linear planning. And before going to the non-planning, non-linear planning, in the case of linear planning, we are arranging the steps in a sequential order, and we are implementing with the one algorithm. So that algorithm can be referred as strips algorithm. In the exam point of view, maybe he asking about explain strips algorithm. So then I also try to explain the same thing. So that means linear planning, block world problem, or uh, goal stack planning, or maybe the strips algorithm. So uh, whatever it will be the question, the answer is same. And another thing is the non-linear non -linear planning is implemented with the another algorithm. That algorithm is represent. Uh, that algorithm is referred as tweak algorithm. Tweak algorithm. Okay, I think the name is simplest. Non-linear planning means nothing but we are not achieving the goal in the linear type of the way. So that means uh, at the at the time of point of view. For example, maybe this is the actual problem. So now this problem is divided into some set of modules, and these modules may be executed simultaneously. And finally, the result will be combined, and uh, we have considered the goal. So this is the initial state of the problem, and this is the final state of the problem. So that means between initial state and the final state, we have considered only the one step. So that means all these modules are parallelly executed. So that means we are assigning the operators and ordering the operators and assigning the values. So and ordering the goals. So that means we are also here we are based upon the operator sub goaling also. So that means uh, which type of which type of Uh, modules are needed, so some particular methods. Only those are assigned in the second step of the problem. But in the case of linear planning, for example, this is a next step, next step, next step, next step. So in this type of way, we are achieving the goal. That's the difference between these two. Uh, in the case of tweak algorithm, consider the some steps. So those are nothing but the first one is the step addition. step addition so what is a step addition means nothing but we have start the start the problem so nothing but we are uh, executing that uh, problem from initial state to the final state and another one is the promotions promotion means nothing but we are creating new steps to solve the problem so that means when we are starting from initial state to the final state first of all we try to divide the actual problem into some set of modules now these modules are Executed sequentially or maybe simultaneously after the completion of these modules. So that means we we don't know find the we are not find the clarity which type of module is uh, first finish the execution. So maybe this one is finish the first execution or maybe this one is finishing the uh, yeah, execution. So we don't know. Okay. And another thing is the third one is the here we are using declobbing. Declobbing means nothing but we are placing One step before the other step, and the fourth one. So we are using simple establishment, simple establishment, and the fifth one is separation, separation. So these five steps are considered in the tweak algorithm. Separation means nothing but creating the problem. Promotion means uh, start the A problem with the new steps, decoupling means placing new steps before the another step. So that means, for example, if the, uh, the actual step is like this, these two steps. Now we are placing another new step. So this is one, and this is two, and this is three. So we are placing new steps between the already existing steps. Another one is the simple establishment. So that means assigning some values to the these variables. Separation means we are uh, stop the process of assigning the values to the variables whenever it is leads into the another type of way. Okay, this is three algorithm. So now we are discussing uh, already discussing about linear planning, non-linear planning, and we are also having another topic that is nothing but hierarchical planning. Hierarchical planning. Hierarchical planning. I think the name is this. In which type of way we are solving the problem for initial state to final state. So that means here we are follows the some hierarchy. So that's why this planning can be referred as hierarchical planning. So what is a hierarchy? So
So first of all, we try to identify what is the important, what is the important goal first. So nothing but here we are identifying first what is the important goal. Next, we try to giving the importance for secondary importance. Next, we are giving alternative importance. So in this type of way, we are reaching the goal. So for example, if we are preparing some exam. So when we are preparing some exam, just only we are thinking about which type of questions are important or what are the previous question papers, which type of topics will be covered. So only these things are we are only constrained. But we are not constrained which type of dress to be preferable and which type of vehicle is suitable to going on that exam. So that means first importance we are giving for preparation. Am I right or not? So secondary things are also necessary. But those are not important in the point of exam. So in the case of exam preparation, just when we are considering what are the important questions or what are the important topics uh, in which type of we will be prepared for that exam. Next, we are giving the importance for which dress is suitable on that particular day. Or maybe which type of materials needed like uh, pen, pencil, scale, uh, etc. Okay. And uh, next we are giving the preference for how we are reaching the particular exam through which vehicle, either a own vehicle or auto or car, whatever it may be. So, first we are giving some first goal, next we are achieving some other goal. So that means when we are achieving this goal only, next we try to achieve this goal. When we are after the completion of this goal, we try to so the another goal. So this hierarchy is maintained. So that means uh, that type of the planning can be referred as hierarchy planning. So if you cover these topics, so that means in the case of planning chapter, in the case of planning chapter, we try to study what is planning and another one, what is the blocks fold problem or coastal planning or linear planning, and another one is non-linear planning, and another one is hierarchy planning. So, I am already saying about this. Linear planning is implemented with strip cell gather. Linear planning is implemented with strip cell gather. Non linear planning implemented with tree cell gather. And the hierarchical planning implemented with AB strip cell gather. Thank you.